I'm not as interested in the characters we have coming in the near future. Not even Kafka. Shut your Call me weird, but I want someone who will fundamentally change comps and the way we play Honkai Star Rail. Much like the characters Bronyer and Silverwolf, I always let it be known that I am head over heels for the Hominy roster. Well, literally. Yo, what up? Toshi here. When we take a look at a character like Silverwolf, the reason why I say she changes the way the game is fundamentally played is because of her whole gimmick. She puts a weakness from your team onto the enemy, which allows you to bring comps into the mix that you weren't otherwise able to bring. Bring characters into the team that you weren't otherwise able to bring. She fundamentally changes the way the game is played. You all know that the game is centered around weakness breaking the enemy. You bring certain elements that the enemy is weak to to break their toughness bar. And once you break their toughness bar, you proc the weakness break effect, depending on the element that did the last bit of damage to break their toughness bar. And that is the way Honkai Star Rail is truly played. But Silver Wolf changes that entirely. Being able to put a weakness that the Boston already otherwise already have allows you to definitely try out different comps and makes the game a lot more enjoyable because of the variety of different compositions and playstyles Silver Wolf brought to the mix. And then you have a character like Branya, who fundamentally changes the way the game is played. I know I hype her up in every single video, but that is just me expressing how good this character is. She pushes up the action forward of your ally to 100%, which in most cases, 99% of the time, allows you to take the turn after she uses her elemental skill, which makes it to where you completely ignore the interaction with the turn order in the game. I think that is a tell of how strong this character is. You ignore fundamentally how the game works because you use a character that gives an ally an additional turn, pretty much. There is some instances where I've, or one instance where I've used Branya and Seal and I pushed up Seal and Seal didn't take the turn because the enemy already had 100% uh, action. But that was a very weird scenario and that normally never happens, only happened one time. And the total of the three months we've been playing this game currently. Now, the Harmony characters, I always talk about them. I think they're a really strong cast of characters. And I think with more Harmony characters to come in the way, I think this roster will be a lot more better. With Yukon coming around in literally a day at the time of recording this, Yukon will be a very valuable addition to the roster of the Harmony. And we went over the character and pretty much everything you really need to know about the character in a previous video. So if you want to know more about Yukon, I definitely suggest you check that video out. With that being said, with more Harmony characters coming along the way, why am I excited for Harmony the most, more so than any other cast of, or should I say, any other class of characters in the game? And the reason being is we currently don't have any character to allow us to fundamentally change the way the game is played, like Branya and Silverwolf coming into the near future. But what if we had a character that allowed us to essentially ignore the skill point management in the game entirely? Let me explain. Bronya's five star light code allows you to get one skill point whenever you use the ultimate every two usages. So the first time you use it, you'll get the skill point, but then you have to use your ultimate another two times, then you get another skill point, which kind of has a condition to it, which isn't very good, but the first time you get it is amazing, of course. Now, as the battle does go on, maybe you'll get it once more, but most of the time you only really want to get that one skill point because most of the fights you'll probably be using this light cone with you'll probably end the fight in maybe three turns if you're using a character like Seal, for example. One skill point every time the wearer uses ultimate lets you know how rare skill points are in this game. Brony's first Eidolon allows you to get a skill point with a condition of it being a 50% chance whenever you use your elemental skill. With that fixed condition there, most of the time you probably won't be utilizing this Eidolon. So I would say it's a very hit or miss thing, because ideally, you know, you're, there'll be times you don't get the skill point at all. And there'll be times where you get the skill point every single turn. But knowing my luck, I usually never get the skill point when I have the extra Eidolon card from the simulated universe. The five star healer set allows you to get a skill point whenever you start the battle. This is very good, especially when you have a character like, let's just say, Natasha or Bailu who you probably want to be fast anyways and make them go before your DPS characters. So to be able to give your DPS character another scope point allows you to have the advantage in the battle. But with it being one scope point at the start of battle, and that's pretty much it, you don't get any more else from the four-star piece pass from the four-piece passive. 
let you know how rare skill points really are. With the options of obtaining skill points to be very slim to none in the game, well, you probably want to have a way to obtain more skill points, and I think Hoyaverse knows this very clearly. Maybe we'll have something into the future where we're able to utilize or be able to receive more skill points, because I think something like that would fundamentally change how the game is played. Let me explain. Character QQ, I want to use this character for the longest time, but unfortunately I don't have her Eidolons. I have zero Eidolons for this character, and I think using this character without her Eidolons is honestly pretty bad. Um, i rather use Seal in this case because, well, she uses skill points and does damage, but this character uses skill points and doesn't do damage unless you get lucky. That is, unless you have her Eidolons. But what if there was a character that allowed you to use this character at an easier version much more reliably because you will be getting skill points out the wazoo? And I think that, in turn, will make this character a lot more approachable for the vast majority of players, not just the ones that get lucky with the constellations. Now, we understand that even though you would use a team like this, the skill point usage will be out the wazoo. You have Team Yoon who wants to constantly use her elemental skill on the ally that wants to do damage, in this case, is going to be Seal. You have Bronya <laughs> who wants to use her elemental skill every single turn, just so you can get an additional turn for your main DPS carry, in this case Seal, and to do the most damage you can possible with all the buffs Bronya provides. And also the cleanse effect too, which can be very valuable in a lot of instances. And you have Silver Wolf who always wants to use their elemental skill on the enemy, so you want to utilize Silver Wolf's elemental skill as often as you can until you land the weakness, and then you can start using basic attacks and all that jazz. But this in turn burns up a lot of skill points. Now, maybe you have Bronya's idol on one. You also have a copy of your light cone on Bronya. And then maybe you have an additional copy of Bronya's light cone on your team Yoon. But even this team is still going to be burning tons of skill points. And with a character coming into the mix, Yukong, in place of Ting Yoon, you probably still would be burning tons of skill points, even if you have copies of that character. So all I'm trying to really say here is what if we had a character that would essentially give the team a bunch of skill points? I think a character like that would fundamentally change how the game is played and would make this team comp and team comps going forward much more enjoyable to play. Now, I understand what you might be thinking. Well, Toshi, what if there already was a character coming into the future that allows your team to get skill points? Well, I think that character is going to be extremely strong and I'm probably not going to skip said character. All I hope is that the character also does more than just give skill points to the team. Maybe the character buffs attack, Maybe the character also gives speed or maybe some action forward would be pretty cool. I think a character like that would make team comps a lot more enjoyable to play, a lot more comfortable to play, I should say, because you don't have to worry about having zero skill points when it's your seal's turn. And with that being said, if a character like that was to release in Honkai Star Rail, I'm going all in on that banner. So there you have it. I think going forward, it'll be very important to keep in mind the characters that will fundamentally change the way the game is played. A character like Silverwolf allows you to put the weakness on the enemy that the enemy otherwise didn't already have before. That in turn allows you to use much more team comps and opens the door for variety in this game. A character like Bronya fundamentally changes the way the game is played because you take the turn after Bronya used her elemental skill, which allows you to ignore the turn order altogether. And then a character that would give skill points to the team I think is going to be extremely good. That character would fundamentally change the way the game is played because it would ignore the interaction with the skill point management altogether. And I think a character like that would honestly fit my brain dead playstyle anyways because as you all know, I like using characters like Bailu and just putting the game into auto anyways. Twitch.tv slash Toshio, the link will be in the description. Of course, if you know what I'm trying to reference in this video, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. I tried to make it as specific as I could without really, you know, giving the meat and grits to the actual, you know, what I'm trying to say. Thank you for watching and have a nice rest of your day. Peace.